welcome, Pinky. The young Richard Attenborough as Pinky, the psychopathic killer in Brighton Rock, an early triumph in a brilliant career as actor and director. Well, after I've settled all the outstanding maintenance orders, look... For 20 years, he was one of Britain's most reliable character actors in a succession of screen and stage roles. ...sit up here feeling sorry for yourself. Well, that's your... that's fine. He became a fixture of the Christmas television schedules and the prisoner of war drama, The Great Escape. My personal feelings are... is of no importance. But he was getting frustrated as an actor, interpreting other people's work. ...confound and confuse the enemy to the best of my ability. Then his life changed. Somebody gave me a biography of uh, Mahatma Gandhi and said, would you like to direct this film? I said, well, you must be crazy. I, I've never directed at all. And the Indian uh, High Commission civil servant said, but, but you care about minorities. You care about prejudice. You care. These are the things you talk about. Read the book. I read the book. So he became a director though it took him 20 years and four other films before he could start work on Gandhi in India. Illiterate they may be, but they're not blind. They see no reason to give their loyalty to rich and powerful men who simply want to take over the role of the British. Gandhi won eight Oscars, including Best Director. It had epic sweep this and Congress scope and a message. World, it represents India. I hate the system. Like Gandhi, Cry Freedom was an impeccably liberal movie, though some found its politics naive and a little sentimental. In mourning the man who gave us all fate in the kind of country South Africa could be. He and his brother David, the television naturalist, were the children of left-wing parents. Richard inherited their commitment to good causes. Attenborough campaigned for the freeing of Nelson Mandela and at election times for the Labour Party. He worked tirelessly for charities like the Muscular Dystrophy Group and he served on over 30 organisations from Channel 4 to the British Film Institute. You said you've got a T-Rex? Uh-huh. Say again. <laughs> we have a T-Rex. Late in life, he returned to acting with roles in films like Jurassic Park, a man who believed that films could change the world but never forgot they were entertainment first and foremost.